Here's an outline of today's session. In the first part, we'll look at a general approach to isolating problems. Then we'll review some important measurements that will allow you to quantitatively measure changes in the separation. In the third part, we'll concentrate on some procedures that I found useful to help isolate and correct problems. And then we'll finish up by looking at some general troubleshooting principles with particular emphasis on preventive maintenance. Okay, let's get started now. Uh, the key technique to early detection of problems with your LC is to pay close attention to what's going on. Three key areas are pressure, leaks, and the appearance of the chromatogram. The system pressure is displayed on all LC systems on the face of the instrument or on the instrument controller somewhere. Some systems record the pressure continuously, others record it when an injection is made, and still others don't record it at all. If you don't have a system that records the pressure, I strongly recommend that you record that manually at the beginning of each batch of samples. Uh, it's conveniently done during the system suitability tests. Pressure is one of the easiest diagnostic tools to use to identify LC problems, but if you don't know what the pressure is under normal conditions, how are you going to know if something is not correct? So here we see that uh, problems due to pressure that's higher than normal uh, usually occur between the outlet of the pump, just before the pump uh, check outlet check valve and the outlet of the column. Uh, high pressure is most commonly due to some kind of a blockage in the system and this often is this frit at the head of the column. Although if you have an inline filter in the system, which we strongly recommend, uh, this should get blocked first. Um, to isolate the high pressure problem, just loosen up the fittings until the pressure drops off and it'll be the element immediately downstream from there that where the pressure is high. But don't overlook operator error as a possible uh, source of problems as well. It is possible to set the flow rate wrong. And then uh, also be aware that changing from one organic solvent to another sometimes can change the, the pressure as well. 